Yesterday, Dayron Coal Company General Superintendent Art Downen showed us how strip and auger mining are used to supply the bituminous coal, which fires the electric generators that provide our homes and businesses with electricity. This morning he'll show how the tons of soil and rock removed to expose the coal seam are put back into place. The process is called reclamation, as Art Downen will explain after you watch this. This is a uh, area that we're presently spreading with topsoil, getting it ready to seed and mulch uh, in order to complete our reclamation of the area. Uh, we started on this this morning and we'll plant it uh, probably tomorrow morning and mulch it at the same time. What we're doing here, we have a D11 tractor up here spreading the rough spreading the topsoil. And uh, this D11 is the largest tractor that Caterpillar makes. It's uh, something like 770 horsepower and 300,000 pounds and pushes uh, about 35 or 36 yards at a time. And then uh, we're smoothing the ground or finishing the ground with a D10 Caterpillar tractor, which is the second largest tractor that Caterpillar makes. But as he comes down through here, uh, he's got about uh, Let's see, that'd be approximately 100,000, 120,000 pounds of material that he's pushing in front of him, spreading. About 60 tons. my left shoulder you'll see a series of sedimentation ponds which are required by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources on all strip mining jobs. All rainwater that falls on an active operation has to be directed through diversion ditches into a sediment pond in order that we can control the quality of water that flows off of our permitted area. It's uh, very stringent uh, what we have to do to meet these requirements and basically uh, any water that comes off our job has to be palatable, something that you could drink. We're now standing on some number seven reclamation uh, that we're planning on planning within the next couple days and the reason we came up to this area was that we were showing you the sequence of operations on our number six coal. You notice off to my right down along a tree line there, you'll see a green area where we started stripping approximately a year ago. Uh, in last fall, in October, then we planted this area that's green. Our stripping moved on down the line to the brown area now that has been seeded, mulched with straw, fertilized and limed. Another couple weeks that will be standing green also. Further on down, you'll see the active mining operation which will be leveled up, spread with topsoil, and planted this fall. And earlier we were standing down where the trucks are operating now. So what this panorama shows you is a year's operation. From a 50 foot hole down by the trees where we started the pan, back to green, our most current reclamation and an active mine operation. It would take weeks for machines, even as powerful as bulldozers, to scrape away the massive layer of soil and rock that covers the coal seam. That's why strip miners rely on explosives to make the job a lot easier. Tomorrow you'll learn about the art of blasting from Tom Shoemaker of the Atlas Powder Company.